everybody Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. And this right here is what happens when you let giz push your stream <laughs> you get funny intro music that's right it's all right that should fix all the fucking problems with limps lip syncing we've had the last fucking couple of months and limp and just limp limp, limp, yeah. limp biscuit yeah don't need no limp biscuits in my life mm-hmm. you don't what's need everybody no up to How's everybody doing? Ah. Welcome back, Battle. Welcome back. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed your trip. Sorry I didn't get a tune in last night while you guys were live. Fortunately, I had other fucking things going on around here. Oh, how was your trip there? Uh, it was fun. I had a, I had a blast. And what uh, part of it? Exploring the countryside in two countries. Three, if you three, if you count uh, count uh, good old England where I went in. Oh, what I'm hoping is I've got one question. Please tell me you spent more time off of the camera than you did on. Oh yeah, no, I spent way more time. Yeah, because you know what, those, those kind of vacations goes for you. Yeah, it's nice that we all get to see, but you know what, he's got to enjoy them. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I uh, I I vlogged like. 10 minutes a day, if that. So, it was uh, there were, I mean, there were, there was a couple of vlogs that are longer, like uh, the ones that are going to start going up here from Iceland are longer, but, but no, I spent, I spent way more time exploring and harassing poor Scottish ladies and 
So what I want to know, the one question at the top of my mind is, what did you learn about driving? Uh, what did I learn about? Uh, I got a life lesson for everybody. Fuck single track roads. <laughs> I don't know. Life lesson. When I started watching that, I fucking, the second you got to that, I just started laughing because I knew exactly what was coming before you even got to it. I was like, yep, I know exactly where this is fucking going. Them cocksucking. No, it was a, uh... yeah, it was, it, was, it was one of those things, you know, I was trying to do the right, th I was trying to do the nice thing and I should have just been a douchebag and sat in the middle of the road and made him do, made him back up into a passing place, but. They had a trailer, and I'm a nice guy. So instead, you're getting pulled out by a fucking Land Rover? Yep. Ah, oh, shit. I won't go too deep into the story. I got to save something. What's up, Jig? Jig's here. <laughs> Jig's here. Lumi's here. Kenny B is out there. Apparently, he's not a fan of um, Gizzard's Deuce Choice of Music. Um, I saw that earlier. Mr. Capozzi. Joseph Gurr is in the house. Alfred Pudding. What's happening, y'all? How's everybody doing, Raven Shadow Vapes? Oh, what's everybody up to this evening? How's everybody doing? How's everybody's week going so far? It's great. Mine's excellent. I know I got another bonus coming on my check on Friday, so I'm excellent. Which is good, which means a little bit more money I can sling towards getting this new computer shit fixed out. Hell yeah. So I'm finally making the plunge. I am going, I've decided I am going to go the PC route. As much as I love my Mac, I am going to end up going with the PC, which it almost seems blasphemous coming out of my own mouth. You can always load Apple software onto it. Yeah. I'm just not, I know the Apple software will run fine on it, but. As many fucking pains in the asses as I have running shows on this platform, having to add sound power and all that other shit, I'd rather not have to do that. Right. I'd rather just be able to just fucking plug and go. And I'm sure things like OBS will run smoother on a PC than they will for Mac because that's the platform they started on. Possibly. At least I would think. If you hate it, you can always blame it on me. You know, and that's the other thing is I might I might end up blaming it on you. There you We're, go. The whole fucking totality of it. Just, it's all your it. fucking fault. You can blame it on me too. It's okay. Yeah. We'll share that blame. Well, that's nice of you. Um, yeah. Can you tell me what Giz had for breakfast since your head's so far up his ass? Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have breakfast. I had lunch. So, um, before I get myself too far off topic and on to other crazy things here, um, I do want to um, make a little notification there. I don't know if anybody's paying attention to social media lately, but um, if you haven't, you should go over on to Instagram, and there's a couple other web pages that I've seen it on. Apparently, if you missed it, the FDA is going to start treating the epidemic into a dare type program no ship dare so they're gonna go ahead and start uh sending posters and shit to schools and stuff on stay away from jewels don't they blah 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 perfectly okay with that however on the other side of that you know what i thought about you know what dare did to me as a kid dared you to do it yeah because it told you exactly what was gonna fucking happen and i was like that sounds like it could be fun. So what did my dumb ass do? I went and tried a lot of that shit. Right. I always thought there was a flaw in that, in that they tell you so much information that you're like, fuck it, I gotta go try it. That's I'm right. Gonna... I fucking double dare you. Well, and that's the thing, mm -hmm. is you look at it, is you end up being well-educated on what exactly is happening. Yeah, the ups, the downs of whatever it is, everything. You're... Yeah. So... I don't know about anal there, but you know, um, that wasn't in our <laughs> dare program. However, um, I did have an ex-girlfriend. She, she did dare me a couple times. So I'm not going to say I backed out of that situation, but yeah. I fucking double dare you. Backed mm. out being the keywords there? No, but she backed up, that's for sure. 
<laughs> Back door. All depends, on, it all depends on whatever's going on that night, you know? That's it. As long as it wasn't. Sometimes it goes some crazy places. Sometimes, sometimes that's the norm. Let me show you the back door. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Adam Pilarchek. That's a check. <laughs> What's up, Adam Pilarzik? Hi. How's it going? Pilarchek. KBM, hello. They both work. Yeah, so. If you guys weren't paying attention, that's another little something that should be a blip on your radar as well. And there's still a lot to do with advocacy. So don't stop advocating. We're nowhere near finished. We are a long, 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 long way from it. I don't really necessarily think it's a bad thing. It might be a bad way that they're implementing it, but um, to teach kids not to do certain things is all right. It, those programs don't don't tend to usually do that. They they make people more interested in doing it because everybody wants to be a rebel. But if they want to put all that money in that instead, instead of something worthwhile, that's what they're doing anyway. So it's not like it's any different than the norm. I'm just saying it's crafty little bastards. They're going to do what they want to do no matter what we tell them to do. Yeah. I have more knowledge in that now having a three-year-old because even my three-year-old is a crafty little fucker. <laughs> they are crafty little bastards. Yeah. This little bastard, the last couple days, we went months and months with markers, just leaving them out for him to play with, fucking draw on the paper. No, today, all over his face, his arms, fucking stomach. Apparently, he wants tattoos at some point in his life. Yeah, he wants to be a tattoo artist. All and kids I, are. And I'm okay with that, dude. I got nothing wrong with tattoos. Not at all. But don't put them on your fucking face, man. That's Mar your money maker. Markers are, be <laughs> markers are a lot better than feces. This is true. <laughs> My daughters both do the tattoo things are drawing on themselves. Instant regret. Dad, can you get this off of me? Well, I'm like, why did you put it on you if you didn't want it to stay on you? This crafty little fucker, too. He's been watching... um these learning shows where they're doing these little science experiments like the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and shit. So what's he do? Finds a water bottle that's half full of water. What's he do? He grabs a fucking marker, takes the top off of it and throws it in there, sees what happens. And just waits. All yeah. the colors change. He goes, look, I made a potion. You little fucker. That's really, <laughs> really bad. Really, really <laughs> bad. Oh, come on, dude. At least he wasn't drinking it, and his face was all like black or something. Leafa vapes. Leafa. Hello. Hello, good sir. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at least he's getting started on his sleeve early, so like he can spread the you know spread the cost of a full sleeve out over a lifetime. This is uh, true. I mean. I think if there's anything you should take away from this show tonight is if your three-year-old asks you to start to let him start getting ink, fucking do it. I mean, it's a cost. <laughs> it's a it's a cost saving thing. I'm just saying, best advice if you are going to do that, make sure that they do it with washable markers. It's a good way to get them started, and it's pain free at that point. Yeah, no sharpies. I, right? I, I say, I also say, do do not let them get like Teletubbies or or SpongeBob or you know something they'll regret later. Start strong with like like, you know, tits or, or a skull or something. <laughs> <laughs> Skulls. Uh, yeah, I mean, fuck. At that point, you may as well get raised on the tit on the inside of his bicep. It, I mean, I think that's a strong. I think it's a strong message to present to the other kids. You know, he's going to be getting ready to go to preschool and stuff. Oh. You, can't let, you can't let the other crafty little bastard see that he's soft. No. He's I mean, man, man enough to get that. If he's man enough to get raised on the tit, you know, tattooed on the inside of his bicep, I say fucking let the little bastard do it. And you know, he's definitely not a black and white tattoo kid. He likes the colors. No, 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 I do. <laughs> I mean, if he's into if he's into those full if he's into full color tats, I mean, you got to get him started early. So those prices can run high, depending on you know how much detail work goes into it. And... 
Although, as fast as he tatted himself up today, fuck, he runs in the tattoo business. He's not going to be able to charge people up because he gets shit done quick, fast, and in a hurry. I mean, recognize the talents early, everybody. Exactly. I mean, is there is there a ta is there like a, a preschool age tattoo gun set that you can get him? Like then he can put it raised on the tit on other kids. <laughs> <laughs> TBA, welcome. And who the hell recommended you to come to this shenanigan full bunch of bullshit? That's what I want to know. Who was that person? <laughs> Who do I need to call out for being an asshole? Yeah. Welcome. So, somebody recognized our show? Someone recommended this show? Yeah, that is kind of a strange one to get in your comments, so welcome. Oh, okay. Just saying it's generally a bunch of shenanigans. <laughs> and we are sitting we are sitting here talking about sitting here talking about, you know, letting three year olds tattoo each other. Train Sonic. Train Sonic. Okay, got it. Ah, Train Sonic. Train Sonic, that fucking guy. All right, Train. I hope you're watching. You sir are a fucking ass, <laughs> and a very good one at that. A good ass. Tattooed on the tip. I don't know. I'm not going into that one, KB, and I'm avoiding that at all costs. Big Dockery, what's happening? Oh, I need to get in the shack and talk to you here in a couple of days. So I gotta. Huh. Was it yeah. Mixy mixy. Sony Walkman oh, motor and a guitar string. Nice. I am, what, are, what are we mixing? I am mixing a edit that I made to my cannoli recipe. Oh, okay. All right. I changed the balance slightly, and I just want to give it a shot. So, a shat. Yeah, a shat. A shat. I tried to be overly Chicago about it. Yeah. Is that like a, a, the, shat. a shat? A shat. Is that like the Shatner? <laughs> Shatner. It's like hanging shats. Where <laughs> I stop between every word. Sure. I'm a rocket yes. man. Actually, Shatner's Rocket Man is what anybody who hasn't seen that's totally worth like the 12 minutes it takes him to get through that song. Yeah, right. It's totally worth it. Shatner's <laughs> Rocket Man? Yeah, Shatner's Rocket Man's amazing. Oh, now I want to go watch it. <laughs> it's a good one. Go, go ahead and mute yourself and go right now. I guess you can do it. Come back when you're like, come back when, come back when your life is I was is in is in full full spectrum. <laughs> I, I have to wait. But I do want to I I want to check it out. Shatner does have a nice hair piece. <laughs> and maybe Donald Trump should take a note of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy that like 15 years ago, Shatner's just like, well, you know, I'm kind of a fucking joke at this point. Let's just embrace it and run with it as hard as I can. So <laughs> that's what's kept him relevant somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Pippa? Yes, I don't love it. Keep on. One Aussie in the house. Where's the others? Looking for Drop Bear. So, Adam, what do you got going on this week? I've been seeing a whole lot of posts. You've been playing a lot, man. You got a lot of gigs lined up, don't you? Yeah, we've been playing pretty much every weekend for the past couple months, uh, just trying to like get as much in as possible before it gets cold, and we don't want to drag equipment to bars that nobody goes to. <laughs> Fair enough. Kind of decided that we weren't going to do a whole lot of shows during the winter and just write, you know, a full set's worth of brand new shit, maybe even record all of it <laughs> over the winter. Yeah, I bet the I bet I bet dragging your stuff. With that stiff, with that stiff off the lake breeze coming in, oh. I bet that's not a good time. Yeah, and most of the shows we play are like, you know, city or north side where it's yeah, you get that lake breeze like a mofo, so it's it's not fun. It's not fun, and then nobody wants to go, and then 
you know, everyone's like, well, if I can't smoke cigarettes in there, I have to go outside to smoke cigarettes. So they're like, why should I even go? You know, a lot, a lot of that uh, keeps people away in the winter for sure. If it wasn't for the wind there, you guys wouldn't be so goddamn cold there during the winter. No, yeah, that's true. It, it's it, the wind like will make it feel like it's 15 degrees colder than it actually is. Oh, yeah. It's fucking raining again. I hear it. Awesome. Dude, yeah, so fucking this was it on Sunday. I go to mow my fucking lawn. I made it halfway through the backyard and had to quit. Fucking mosquitoes are so bad here right now. Oh. It, the, I couldn't even make it through the fucking yard. And I'm, I'm fucking jetting with the push mower as fast as I can get it fucking done. Got tore the fuck up. I was like, yep, nope. I'm fucking done. It's in the backyard. The front looks good already. Fuck it. Only matters what they can see from the front of the house. I think it'll get one good more, one more good mowing once it fucking cools off and mosquitoes go away. Something gnarly. It's been raining here for three days. <sighs> it's been like close to 100 degrees for three days here. Yeah. No. It barely broke 60 today. Jeez, it was like, today it got up, I think the hottest was like 95, 96. We're supposed to get that tomorrow here. Yeah, that rain should be coming your way, TJ. Oh, awesome. More. Yeah, you know, more. you always get our uh, weather like two days after us. Yeah. Although a lot of the shit you've been getting for some odd reason is going just south of us. That could be. That's what it is. So what's everybody in the audience up to this week? What do you guys got going on? What's new out there? Shane Smith, how are you doing? Sexy bastard. I mean, his fucking sexy ass family. I know, right? Dude, even his kids are good looking. Fuck. I hate you in the best way possible. <laughs> Although, my kid's fucked. If he looks anything like me when he grows up, that kid is screwed. <laughs> Although, at this point, he's still pretty well off. Skinny, blonde hair, blue eyes. You got it made, kid. Although, I'm not going to let him know that. <laughs> See, I think I think you need to get him in the gym early. You know, I've been thinking about putting him into something along those lines. I've been thinking about getting him into some jujitsu. So they've got a Gracie Academy here in Green Bay that I was thinking about taking him to. Nice little kitty jujitsu. Yeah, teach him how to break other three and four year olds' arms. Sounds like a great time. I mean, three and four year olds, their body's still mostly cartilage. So, I mean, you don't have to worry too much about breaks. They bounce right back. You know, like arm gets bent into a triangle and it just pops right back. Well, you got a nurse made elbow here. Let me jerk on that and pop it right back into place. It's pro oh. probably safer than peewee football. Yeah, at least you don't have to worry about concussions there. Right. Unless somebody drops you on your head. Oh, look at that. Sean's out there talking about Shane. Sean's out there? Yep. Says, oh, that Shane. Mm. Uh-oh. Sean's got control of the, of the swag account right now, everybody. Yep, shit's not going to go well. Watch out. You guys really should be watching social media. There's been a lot of sales going on over there lately. So anyway, i got to put in a... Order for some swaggy chain. I'm almost out of beard oil. Beard oil. I think I got about maybe two or three weeks left. My my cat's biting my foot. <laughs> so things are things are getting back to usual. Everybody <laughs> biting your foot. Yeah, like she cha like she chased it around, and decided to bite my foot. Ooh, outstanding. 
There's some good news in Australia right there. Greg Hunt has agreed to independent inquiry into the health impacts of nicotine e-cigarettes after a concerted push. Outstanding. If only if only the pushes that we've done here in the US could get the FDA to go do an independent study. Yeah. I threw that link I, I, I threw that link out there in case anybody wants to look at that. Yeah, you know, the rate we're going, I think I probably have a better chance of getting my fucking hand bit off by an alligator right now. And I live in Wisconsin, so that's The Australians actually got some good news for once. Yeah, exactly. That is phenomenal news. I I'm ex I'm stoked about that. You know what? The more and more countries that take that step towards it, and when we realize we're the dumb fucks here, everybody's gonna look at it. Well, right now they're all looking at us like we're dumb fucks, anyways. But you know, I was chatting with several people from different countries, and uh, about smoking and vaping, and they all brought up the exploding batteries. And I was like. I was like, look, look where it happened. It was just dumb Americans being dumb Americans. Like you don't see, you don't see it happening anywhere else, do you? Like it's not happening in Australia. It's not happening in Scotland. It's not happening in Iceland. It's just dumb Americans being dumb Americans. That argument, believe it or not, flipped the script on a couple of people when I was chatting with them. They're like, they're like, oh, you're right. I was like, you guys are dumb. Like you, Americans are are idiots. <laughs> Thank you, American. Like pat me on the head like a three year old. Like I'm the crafty little bastard. I never thought of that. <laughs> Good little Yankee. You have a yeah, point. Exactly. <laughs> now get back over the pond, rebel. <laughs> so here you go, everybody. Oh, yeah. That was a hello to you, Ivan. Is it a. Uh... I think it was, uh, was it Grim Green? Was it Nick in one of his 510 reports was talking about that? How everybody else in the world is starting to make those positive changes in harm reduction where we're making backward steps? That's how it always goes here with us, though. Like, it takes, it takes us, you know, 10 years to catch up to everybody else. And because we're fucking retarded. Yeah. It's because of capitalism. Yep, so, that does have uh, my eyes. That does have a good portion to do with it. All about the money. Hang on. Capitalism is a good thing. Un unbridled capitalism is not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's there's there's a bridle on it. It's just whoever happens to be willing to pay the most. Yep, you got it. Unfortunately, which leaves zero room for anybody else to get involved. Did Jesse just paint his camera? Like, like, he, just, like he reached out and the screen went black. Whoa. Fancy fucker. Whoa, what was that? Oh, he's doing this. He's got a cap on his. He's got a cap on his web camera because he thinks people are watching him walk his around his place naked. Yeah, dude. Uh, if you although, just put... Jesse doesn't get naked. He's always got his jumper on. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you put maybe just a wee wee pair of shorts on, even some fucking ranger panties, you'd be all right. I'll be right back in like two minutes. Um, well, if you yes. turn your camera off, you'll, it'll just drop you off the feed. Okay. Bye. I got I got something important to take care of real quick. Bye. There you go. Skadoosh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Total hey. sky mess for two weeks, besides everybody losing their minds. Eh, I wouldn't say that you missed entirely too much. It's more like we missed you. Yeah. Pretty much. And yeah. so I was the voice of reason keeping everything in check. However. Pretty much. No. Yeah, it's just <laughs> true. I mean, Ned showed up here last week while you were gone. That's right. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Ned is better than all of us. That's all I really have to Ned say. He is. Uh, somebody stole Ned's recipe. Yeah, uh, that's true. I did. I for his, uh, for All right, his... wait a minute. 
I don't think that they stole it. They may have picked it up in Detroit. That's right. That's right. You know, because when he mixes, that's the type of mix that he does. Yeah, I, I got I got a good chuck I got a good chuckle out of that video. I got I got the social anxiety because I'm fucking better than you. <laughs> that was an excellent video. He sh I really wish he would do more of those. <laughs> uh, although full, got the full Ned review. <laughs> although you know, if he did more of them, I don't think it would be as funny every time. So I think maybe no. one or two would be good. Like a year. <laughs> yeah, so that when it comes out, you're like, oh shit, it's Ned. Yeah. See, Something like Ninja when she was putting her videos out, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, it would, you'd be sitting there, and one day, all of a sudden, you get a notification Ninja has posted a video. Like, oh shit, it's like a present. Mm -hmm. That it is. I do miss those. Yeah, her videos are great. <laughs> Although, I think there is still nothing better than the day she came in on my first year anniversary video and blew fucking Brian's mind. Rip that, <laughs> rip that massive cloud and then just walked out. <laughs> Mew. Like, gone. Yeah. Brian just. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She's got some lungs. Thank you, Pippa. I'm glad. I'm glad you missed me. I didn't. Like I said last night, I don't think I missed too much about America while I was gone. Hell no. Like the public transportation was running exactly on time everywhere I went. It was, it was lovely. Nice. <laughs> That's got to be really fucking nice because that shit doesn't happen here. There was high speed trains. I thought you would miss the food, but you didn't even miss the food. You got good food. Yeah, it was good. I only had one. I only had one bad day, and it was the entire day. The food wasn't great. Mm. So, was that on Mole, the Isle of Mole as well? No, I, I actually had a pretty decent meal on the Isle of Mole. Oh, okay. That was just that was just a shit day. That was the bright spot of the day. Yeah, that was the that was the only bright spot of the day. Sure, as fuck wasn't your driving. I was a I was an excellent <laughs> driver. They let me drive slow on the driveway on Mondays. Um, they on the left side of the road, right? No, the you're on the right side. The your seats. Yes, they drive on the left hand side. Your seats in the your seats on the right. That's a that's the other part of that story that I didn't tell was that we were supposed to get an automatic, and it was a manual, and so the manual the the gear shifts over on the left hand side. Oh, that's got to be all fuckered because you're used to doing it with your right. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, I did it. I did. A, I did. A, I mean, I. I did. I did. I drove. I drove pretty darn well that day. Any. I don't know that anybody would have been able to do anything differently than I did, and still wind up with your tire a couple feet in the air, your back tire a couple feet in the air. <laughs> uh, you know, that's that's that one part of that. I just wish you would have like taken a picture or something of what was going on I there. Think my, I think my aunt got a picture of it. I should text her. Okay, like, hey, did you get a picture of that? Because I was thinking the whole time you were telling that story, I'm going, man, I would have loved to have just seen that just because it would have made it even better. <laughs> Church, what's happening? Welcome, buddy. I enjoyed the little vlogs while you're gone. They are short, sweet, to the point. Oh, did notice you seem to get a stage fright there as people walk by you. Just stop talking. And run. Just keep talking. Fuck them. <laughs> um, people look at you strange when you're when you're walking, talking to your phone. Eh, I guess that's all right. They, you know, there's enough social media around the planet. They should understand what the fuck you're doing by now. Plus, I mean, you really don't want a whole bunch of people just uh, video bombing you. That's the other thing. Oh, my not? Maybe back. strike up a conversation with somebody. <laughs> uh, so, overall, impressions of the people, were they more friendly or more subdued? or? Um, more subdued. More yeah. subdued. I mean, everybody was friendly everywhere we went, except for a couple dickheads. 
But I mean, everywhere you go, there's a couple dickheads. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. So, well, I guess comparison to the state side, were they more subdued than some places in the states? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people are a lot more reserved outside the U.S. People, U.S. people, I, I don't think we realize it, but we're fairly, fairly uh, exuberant about things. Yeah, you can say that. Irrational yeah. exuberance. That's right. You know, being loud and being being annoying. You know, when you're walking around polite society, you're like, hmm. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be good. Maybe it wouldn't be a good time to accuse my mom of selling crack rocks. No, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Man, she's watching. My, uh, mom's, my mom's not watching this show. Uh, that's why you she said didn't. that. Oh fuck! How about tea? Did you drink tea? I drank a lot of tea. How was how? A lot of decaf coffee. How Same was how was, was the tea any better over there? I, I didn't think so. I thought it was normal. Yeah, I was, didn't think it tasted all that much different, but I also wasn't drinking caffeinated tea either. So maybe if I was drinking the breakfast tea every morning instead of a cup of decaf, mm. I would have noticed. But I don't know. I didn't think it anything was all that different. Uh, I didn't eat blood sausage, Raven Shadow. I did eat haggis, and haggis tastes like breakfast sausage. That's what I've heard. Haggis I mean, is I'm, good. You said that too, and I was like, "Man, like I kind of want to try it now." It's not weird. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 <clears throat> it's good. It's good. It's not. I don't know that there's anything to be scared of. No, I know it's 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 chopped up dead animal like any yeah. other is. You know, heart heart lungs, oatmeal, onions, and you. I think like beef stock. Sounds great. Sounds good to me. Well, you ain't getting lungs here anywhere in the States because they won't let them sell them. Yeah, they won't let you do real haggis here? No. So. The only way you can do that is if you own your own farm and slaughter your own animals. Yeah. Uh, Hall says, less dickheads, more different people in the States. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I think dickheads are dickheads. Are dickheads. Oh, speaking of dickhead, hey, Paul. What's up, Paul? Oi. Oi, cunt. <laughs> you bloody dickhead. Oi. Hey, looks like it was an interesting time. Uh, from everything that I saw, not to mention just the pictures you posted, there was some just amazing sights to see there. Yeah. Although, I did notice a lot of it, like um, a lot of places you were in, it reminded me a lot of Wisconsin. Like, just kind of rolling hills and ro- like a lot of hills and a lot of forests. I was like, huh, it's like fucking home. <laughs> Except so, for, yeah, you know, the Scottish people are there. Scottish mm. people and the, all of those buildings were way fucking nicer and cooler looking than what's here. <laughs> old, old school charm. Even like I, the- I, I, I compared to uh, Edinburgh. Let me make sure I get that straight. Edinburgh. 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 Like Edinburgh and New York City are very so they're very similar cities, um, vibe wise, um, activity wise. They're they're very very similar cities. The thing is, Edinburgh's got like, you know, five six hundred years on New York City, like on every building. The oldest building in New York is is five hundred years younger than, you know, the entirety of the city of Edinburgh. So, it's got a different it's got a different kind of charm to it. Um, the pee, yeah, there were plenty of places that smelled like pee in, in Edinburgh and, and Glasgow gizzards too. Mm. So not, not I mean, that's big, that's a big city. You didn't see any poop though, like in India or in uh, San Francisco or New York. I'm pretty sure I saw some poop in New York too, but no, I didn't see any poop. Mm. But yeah, it's a, it's a, the old school charm of the of the European nations is there's something to be said for it. Did you make it down a snickle way? A snickle way. There's, there's the little alleys between buildings. Oh, the closest. Yeah. Yes. 
In England, I went to the I went to the flesh market close. In in England, they call them snickleways. They call them snickleways. That's okay. awesome. They smell like pee. Uh, <laughs> and Hall would rather go to Seattle. Bigger hills, better roads, and Pacific Ocean is better. <laughs> I mean, that's all. That's all debatable. Have you? <laughs> if you're going in the Pacific Ocean in November, you got you got to re, you got to rethink your life choices. Yeah, I don't know. I went in the Pacific Ocean in November, but I lived in Hawaii at the time. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I mean, Hawaii, it's 70, it's like 75 or 80 degrees the entire year, so. Yeah, uh, that is. You get that um, nice cool island breeze. The water's yeah. always warm. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, the, and the Atlantic Ocean, like, go in the ocean in California in November, go in the ocean in Florida in November. Tell me which one you prefer. <laughs> and that, that's exactly it, too, right there. What's happening, Joey? No gizzard stew. I did not pee in an alley. No. Jeff is here. I just wondered. Dude, I thought Pippa, I did meet a uh, cat named Ginger Ninja in Iceland. It was awesome. <laughs> he was running around. He had this. He had like a like a clown collar, you know, like the clown, like the like the collars that clowns wear, like the, like the big ruffle colored, looked yeah. almost like a flower. He was running around wearing that. But he, he would just come out of nowhere, and I'm sitting out. I'm I was sitting out on the I was sitting out on the port. I was sitting out on the stoop having a vape, and I I like see this movement out of the corner of my eye. And I look over and it's this ginger cat, and he comes and gets right in my lap and just sits there. And the this little Australian lady came by. She's like, "Oh, ginger ninja found you." <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like we love this guy. He's ginger. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Fresh, so, yeah. did you, um, I, oh, I had a question, but it, it left my brain. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of it. Adam, you've turned Jeff into a regular viewer. Have you noticed that? He's here mm -hmm. every fucking week. Jeff, you're fucking awesome. <laughs> he actually came to see the band on Saturday. Yeah. It was awesome. Nice. Make the trek from the south side to the north side. <laughs> oh, now I, I, now I remember. Fresh, did you go on a distillery tour? I know you went I to Old. Not. You had no interest because you don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink. But they, they, if you would have gone there, actually, it's very, it's interesting to go th on one of those. I, it I, been, I think it would have been interesting, but I thought you might have when you went to Oban. Because why would Oban? Why would I go to one in Oban? Because as that, compared to Edinburgh. Or... Well, because Oban is a very good old distillery. They haven't. So, so were the ones on Harris and Lewis. Sure. You know, then you would have learned about Pete. Mm. I know. I know all about Pete. You do? Yeah, Pete Moss. Tell us about it. Pete Moss. It, it's. Let's see. Pete Moss. They estimated it started about three thousand years ago. The vegetation death and the uh, moss that grows over the top of it. So it's it's very very thick, and that's the reason they like to cut it. Um, and, uh, they started putting it in their scotch because they didn't have a whole lot else. And it gives it a very distinct mossy, mossy scent. Um, and when, uh, your aunt is flavor testing every whiskey that she can find and scotch that she can find along the way, you learn to, you learn to, you learn to, uh, sniff the peat out pretty quickly as the, as the glass goes past you. Like, Ooh, that's a peaty one. Try it. If it tastes like socks got peat in it so if i had gotten you a scotch that was mighty peaty you wouldn't have been you would have, because you only wear one sock at a time because it's right. you you wouldn't have been a fan probably not i don't like super peaty stuff like from the northern part of scotland it tastes yeah. like socks but some people do yeah she, she enjoyed she enjoyed the peaty the peaty whiskeys um do they also use peat at, like like we use firewood here yes because it's plentiful and you can go out and basically you cut down into the ground and right. cut out these big huge bricks of it. Yeah. There's a few there's a few peat fighter few peat fires as we were going around. And I'm then that, that smells like you're burning socks. Yep. Church. Uh, I thought I watched Raven, something. Raven let me Raven Shadow, the Blarney Stone is in Ireland. That's not <laughs> Wrong Island. Yeah. That uh, that island was further south. What did you kiss while you were in Scotland? 
<laughs> Everything that I could, Gizzard Stu. Give us every one. opportunity that presented itself. I see you didn't come home with a wife, so I take it you didn't find that fiery redhead you were looking for. I found plenty of fiery red heads. I just couldn't fit them in my suitcase. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, fucking nailing it. Hanging fresh upside down would be funny. <laughs> That's right, because it's a Blarney Stone. They hang you upside down. So you can reach and then you ki- and then you kiss it. But the funny thing is, uh, is the locals go and pee on it. So when you go mm-hmm. kiss it, you're jokes on you. Yeah, jokes on you. And risk getting hepagonocephalus. You ain't gonna get me to kiss that. Hepagonal waddle it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get shit that claps back at you. Mm. Mm. Ooh. The the hair dye seeped into your brain. Into your brain, <laughs> Raven Shadow. When you were in Scotland, did you put your hand in a garbage disposal? You put your hand in a garbage disposal. Just like that. I knew. Just it. like that. I didn't. I don't remember them having garbage disposals. I'm sure they're there, but everywhere we went, I don't remember any of the any of the places having garbage disposals. No, they just oh. cut. They what they do is they cut out a big piece of peat and they throw their garbage in there and then they put the. Peat the Pete Put there. the Pete back? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's funny that you, you say that, because I remember watching something that they used to fucking store stuff like butter under the peat moss. Sure. Refrigerate it. Yeah, basically. That it makes sense. The, sense ground, it, the ground's what, 50 degrees? It makes great insulation. They used to build their, their uh, insulate their huts with it. Yeah, it's like 56 or I think something like that. It's got a good R value. Makes right. you wonder what kind of shit they can find under that peat that's just been building up and building up for years. Mm. More peat. <laughs> yeah, more peat. <laughs> Free peat. Peat. Maybe a tiny peat. What's happening, Rust? Romish. <clears throat> Get out of your fucking dickheads, it's the Viping fucking bargain. So one of his, there's one of his early videos right there. Oh, good day, kids. It's the vaping fucking bogan, yeah? <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. The I know, it, it was good, wasn't it? Uh, it was like a total character back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go back and watch his old stuff just to what's new. It's fucking hilarious. Good day! Oh, good day! <laughs> I remember the first, I remember the first uh, the when he first when he was first getting going and everybody's like dude go check this channel out I go watch it and I just laughed and laughed and laughed. Speaking of Aussie dickheads, look what came in my mail today, fresh. Oh right, Lab Works. Nice. Man, I bet that tastes like pure asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. I'm vaping it. It's actually pretty good. This is a strawberry shortcake ice cream. Mm. Good to know. Mm. Oh, look at that. Eric Sutherland's alive. Hadn't seen him in a while. What's up, Eric? And a belated happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to, to baby <laughs> face. Hmm. What was this past weekend, I think? It's actually quite lovely. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Sutherland's 25 now. You shave yeah. your beard off, you can pass for it. Saying, otherwise, I'm the fucking Pope. Eric I'm Sutherland! Not, I'm not Catholic in the least. <laughs> huh. So did anybody else have any other interesting things over the last week we all know watched, uh, all of iron fist season two i have still not watched it i need to is it good. was it better than the first season oh yeah it was way better good at, at what point season was kind of eh. 
At what point does it get good fresh? I, um, I, I'm about two episodes in, and I'm like, it was about it was about episode three or four is when it started getting good. Okay, like, had, to, like every Marvel show, like Marvel shows take like three episodes to warm up. Yeah, usually, and then after that they get rolling. But like the last couple of episodes were just were amazing, and then that the like the final the final couple minutes of the season, you're like, what? They usually have like a tipping point where all of a sudden you're in like you you can't put it down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the the great thing about it is it's actually only ten episodes, so it's a shorter season. It's not like thirteen like they had been doing. So when it feels like the show should be ending, it's ending. Hmm. So. You know that that was something I did notice with quite a few of those ones that they have on Netflix, but like they should be cut the season here, and it yes. just kept going. I'm like, oh, dude, you drug it out too long. You could throw it into something else. Like Luke Cage season two. Like there was a point where you're like, okay, cool, it should be ending now, and you you, you it's like and next episode like, pops up, and you're like, I was gonna say there's like there's a spot where you got like three or four more episodes at least on that, and I'm going. Oh, like oh great! What are we gonna do now? But it was—I mean, it was—it's excellent. Iron Fist season two is excellent. Iron Fist, because uh, the Iron Fist isn't quite the whiny douchebag he's been in the past. Hmm. Oh, that's better. I was about sick of that nonsense in the first season. That and that and like like halfway through the season. It go it it stops being Iron Fist and it starts being Daughters of the Dragon, which I'm a huge fan. So make that series make that series happen like now Netflix. Like I know we got Daredevil season three coming up, but like after that, can you please just do Daughters of the Dragon? I'll be I, I'm totally cool with the with the Colleen Wing and and uh, Misty Knight show. So yeah, I'm excited for Daredevil season three. That's gonna be a good one. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm ready for him to do another fucking um, Punisher. Yeah. So ready for another fucking season of the Punisher. His, yeah. uh, you guys, oh, okay. You guys haven't watched. You guys haven't watched Iron Fist. I won't. I won't spoil. But there's a character that would fit in very well in Punisher, and I hope she shows up over there. And that's one thing I will give them. They've done a very good job <laughs> with fucking crossing each one of those series in and chunking characters into each series and it's worked out brilliantly for her. Yeah. Like Misty Knight was getting like she felt a little out of place towards the end of Luke Cage season two. Like she fit she fit in perfectly on Iron Fist. Like she <coughs> her her and Colleen Wing need to just be like always in scenes together. They're gonna be tunnel buddies. Wait a minute, no they can't do that. Never mind. I mean, I'm totally down if they want to do scenes like that, but. Oh. Hmm. 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 Fucking genius. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking genius. There hmm. he is. Oh, yeah. Fucking only. T- it's only ten twenty-four. Goddamn, this one. I'm, 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 I, it feels like it feels like it's about one in the morning to me. <laughs> he's still pretty jet lagged. He is. I, you can I, tell. I, look t- at him. Just look at him. He's tired. In the middle of the in the middle of the work day, I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> he was, Today was my first day back at work, and like halfway through, I was like, son of a bitch. He was a bit haggard on the fa- Fog Life show last night too. I could tell. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm hoping a good night is a good night's sleep tonight and then hopefully you know, by hopefully Friday, by Friday I'll be all you'll be magical. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Totally magical. <laughs> For sure. Why does that remind me of reading Rainbow every time you do that? Well, I have a second version. <laughs> little one. It's when it's not as magical. It's only it's only slightly magical. <laughs> slightly less magical. 
That's like a good sleight of hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're fairly magical. Jeff loves boobies. Boobies. I ain't mad at you. I ain't nothing wrong with that. I didn't even realize he was still out there. Oh, you think he <laughs> just pops true. in and leaves? <laughs> you love boobies? You should go visit Scotland. He said he was on there's his way. There's a lot of lovely. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of seemingly nice boobies running around. He said he was on his way to go sing karaoke. Is, is there a song called "I Love Boobies"? There's got to be. Mm. I bet there is. If there if there isn't, Adam, get on it. Eddie and the Arsons needs their hit single, I Love Booby. Well, there's something fairly close to that. Uh, Rodney Carrington does one. Oh, that, the Show Them to Me? Yeah, that one's all about the boobies. Yeah. I don't know, it's still a country song. That's country. Yeah, so I, was gonna say, I still, country I still, go, I still, I I still cringe when I hear it. Yeah, that's the downside to that, but, you know, that's the one I do know of. You know, I'm surprised, uh, was it, um, when Jason Ellis was doing the band thing, I'm surprised they didn't do something like that. Uh, they have another, he has another band now. Oh, like, does he? He went from, he went from Taint Stick to, to Death, Death, Die to, I think it's called Hate Bean, I think is what it's called now. Yeah, Dude, those those things were fucking hilarious. Those albums, yeah. I love them. <laughs> oh, I mean, he like he their version of "Waiting for Tonight." Like J Lo, like step your fucking game up. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't. I did not know that I needed a metal version of "Waiting for Tonight" in my life until I heard it. And I was like, son of a bitch, that's brilliant. I still have a copy of that album somewhere on CD. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got their, I've still got all their albums. We used to do a metal version of uh, Milkshake by Kellis. Yes. <laughs> Except oh. he was, you know, my milkshake brings all the hoes to the yard. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we did um. it as like an intro into one of our songs in one of my old bands called Push Button. <laughs> that they did. <laughs> I wish there was a recording of that or a live performance of us doing that somewhere. It's, it's got to be on a VHS tape somewhere in my house. On a VHS, oof. Yeah, I'll just transfer it. I have the means to transfer it. V- Hello, VHS tape. Aren't you just being the loveliest thing that you now? You stopped chasing me around and biting my foot. Now you, you lovey. Get him! Get him! Oh, I was looking for. I was looking that. I was looking for this for forever. And it's sitting right there. What's that? It's a it's a lens mount. Um, well, there it is. <laughs> and there you are. Thanks, Ivana. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for playing with my shit and bringing it back. <laughs> I I got something in the mail today, and it made me feel like I I I. I I'm right there where I need to be with my business. What did you get? An ARP card? No, when you you know that you've made it when companies start sending you pins with your business name on it, right? Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a good guess. I get that ARP shit all the time. Oh, okay. Have not gotten one of those yet. You will. <laughs> I'm not even 38 yet, and they're like, I've gotten like six or eight of them. Yeah. You're going, motherfuckers, I can't even use this yet. You, you like, can join even, early. The benefits are incredible. I didn't know you could join early. I thought you had to be at least 50. And, and it, that's not true. No, it, you have to be older than 50 to join the ARP. No, no, no it's don't. 50. It's 50 and up on AARP. That's what he no. just said. I, uh, I don't know what the age limit is. I haven't got it, so I ain't worried about it. Although... My mother bitches every time they do send something to her. I'm not joining a- ARP. I'm not fucking old. Fuck you. <laughs> as soon as you turn 40, they'll start sending you coupons for reading glasses. Every other one that they send me, it's like this thing for a free leather bag or a fake leather bag. <laughs> Pleather. 
I need reading classes now. I'm not 40 yet. See? <laughs> That's for sure. I'm always doing this. Oh, Mr. Magoo in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sucks. I have reading glasses. Uh, I haven't hit that mark yet, which is crazy considering my dad wore glasses, my mother wore glasses. Just about everybody in my family wears glasses. I'm one of the few who doesn't. <laughs> Me too. I think I was in fourth or fifth grade when I failed my eye exam. And they were like, yeah, you need glasses. And I was like, oh, no, because back then you were a nerd if you had glasses. And I was already a nerd. I don't want to be a four eye. <laughs> so that, that was going to multiply my nerdiness. My like, four. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're exponentially more nerdy. Yep. Became profitable, though. When you're the nerd and people know you're the nerd, they come to you for help and are willing to, you know, cash money for doing homework and stuff. <coughs> Line up, boys. <laughs> if it's a paper more than two pages long, it's going to cost you 50 bucks. <laughs> I wasn't getting that kind of dough back then, but I, I, I demanded a decent little, little price tag. What do your parents pack you for lunch? All right, this is what you're giving me for the next month. I want them Doritos. <laughs> My mom buys Vintners. I want Doritos. <laughs> what the, what the high grade shit? <laughs> Brand name shit. Top shelf. Fathers usually let nerdy guys in to help their daughters with their homework. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> Little do they know. That's right. <laughs> oh, he looks harmless. <laughs> A little skinny, nerdy guy. Sure. Go on into the bedroom. We trust you. What's up, DC? Welcome, welcome. People slowly sneaking in and sneaking out out here. Sorry. Come and go as you please. Raven's afraid of her shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Sutherland needs a monocle. <laughs> <He does. Awesome. laughs> I really shouldn't laugh at that, but it's so uh, fucking funny. <laughs> it is funny. Uh, Eric, you could totally sport a monocle. Be awesome. The stash must have been epic. <laughs> I need to mix some more juice, but I'm sifting through recipes that I've been thinking about mixing. I'm trying to pick one. Maybe you should put them in a hat and just draw a name. Why don't you try and make ravioli? <laughs> and the ravioli. I think I'm missing all of the primary ingredients for that. For phantom ravioli. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any tomato or basil flavorings. No basil? Unfortunately. I think TFA makes pizza. They sure do. Or they did. I mean, if you need pointers, you could always go and hit up G. He can kind of lead you in the right direction. What's up? What's up? What's up, homie? Not much. Got all dad duties done. So I figured I'd pop on, crack wow. open a beer with you. Sweet. That's a big beer. Yeah, what are you drinking? Looks 16 ouncer. Looks like something. Oh, it's an Angry Orchard. Nice. Yeah, it's Angry Orchard. I have a blue screen, so it turns purple. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, that's a little black. Yeah, if you check out check out my uh, review on the Aroma Miser Plus, it's uh, the Aroma Miser Plus is very versatile. It'll turn whatever color you want it to be, black <laughs> or purple. Um, the nice thing is I had all of the colors 
behind me, so I was able to hold it in different areas and show what it would look like in each different color. <laughs> I got it in blue. So, what's up? Perfect. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a, when I first looked at that Angry Archer can, I was like, wait a minute, they have a purple can? Son of a bitch. Like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's It's grapple. <laughs> yeah, grapple cider. Fucking grapples. You ever buy those at the store? They're like apples that are sprayed with like grape juice, or at least that's how they seem to be, because only the the skin tastes like grape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I've never had a grapple before. Yeah. Grapples or cotton candy grapes? How about that? Candy grapes. So what's going on? It's a lovely day in the paradise. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Heck yeah. <laughs> I got some cool battery wraps the other yesterday. Huh? What'd you get? They're for twenty seven hundreds. Yeah, skulls. Oh on. hell yeah. I'm, pretty... I'm into that. Uh, you get a box of like a hundred of them for like seven something on Amazon Prime. Oh shit! Nice. Okay. Never gonna run out of battery wraps there. No way, man. Fucking have to change out batteries before you run out of battery wraps. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We gotta give away some of those if people need them. Nothing like some skulls. Oh, yeah. This fresh taking pictures of his neighbor at the window. <laughs> I'm trying to get this le this lens to react properly to the camera. Yeah. Uh, you guys, let, you guys let me get distracted by it, so. <laughs> different model lens from the camera. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's gotcha. got the it's got the ring mount. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So now it's now it's just a matter of diving through the settings and getting the getting the right one clicked. Heck yeah. Squirtle! <laughs> Love that. There's some nice aftermarket ring ring mounts that you can put on there so you can use other other lenses that weren't supposed to go with it. <laughs> Next you'll be stacking photos. I know, right? <laughs> you leave it in the tripod on the picture of an RDA and you let it take 50 or 100 pictures. Click, click. There you go. That's what you do. You're sitting there like, hey, lady, can I take your picture? <laughs> I'm going to stack them. <laughs> <laughs> I want everything in focus in 4K. Well, no, it keeps telling me that the lens the lens isn't attached properly, but it totally is. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Somebody's gonna be at it all night. There goes his fucking good night of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? I take it you didn't watch the Bears play this weekend, did you? Or on no, Monday? they won, didn't they? Yeah, they won on Monday. <laughs> Tanya, I think they're underrated this year. I really do. Yeah. Well, you know, 15 and 1 are still getting in playoffs. Mm -hmm. True. Or you could fucking tie like the Packers and Vikings did this weekend. Yeah, that was weird. That was a shit show. <laughs> I saw that I game. That... I didn't see the Bears game, though. I really thought that they had something set in the NFL where it wasn't a tie anymore. But I thought so, too. Uh, That's why I was like, a minute that just... only happens in the playoffs ah uh, gotcha yeah regular season you can totally tie yeah there's been was it two or three ties so far this year so if you tie every game can you still get in the playoffs because you te technically didn't lose that's and... a that's a great question right <laughs> oh, if, you've got, if you've got 15 if you've got you know 16 ties I think they count those worse than a loss, though, if I'm not mistaken. 
<laughs> Kenny B, yeah, screw you, we won my Hawks are not looking good this year. Well, <laughs> does that make up for like the last 20 years the Bears haven't looked good? You mean since um, 85? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still got that Super Bowl Shuffle 45 somewhere in the house. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to meet Jim McMahon and buy him a beer sometime. <laughs> Ditka. Fucking Ditka, yeah. I buy him a sausage. <laughs> we do have a we do have a a sign in our bathroom that has Ditka's uh, sunglasses and mustache, and it says. <laughs> It says, Coach says, pick up your stuff. Nice. <laughs> we got pick up your stuff in like, um, I think, four different rooms of the house. Just to remind the kids and myself to pick up my stuff. <laughs> so. Fucking. TJ, are you close enough to Ohio this weekend? No, I'm actually got a family function going this weekend, so I will not be making my way to Ohio. That sounded fun. If it was an 11 hour drive, I'd, I'd drive. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I would totally have been down, but unfortunately, not going to happen this weekend. I got a birthday in the family I have to attend. Yeah. Plus, that whole money thing. <laughs> Yeah, it that costs part. money to go to fucking <laughs> vape expo. <laughs> oh, yeah, Which expo it's, is it? Uh, it's Midwest, I believe. It's in the Cleveland Expo, but it's really in Indiana, across the border. Yeah. Hmm. And I I thought about it. I really did, but then I was like, oh, wait a minute. There's other shit going on. I can't go. But, you know, God damn it. But you know, that's like six. What was it five and a half, six hours from Chicago? And then, like, Chicago is like four and a half, five, depending on traffic from here. So, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. and my car is sitting at 217,000 miles. So, who knows what that trip would do to it? <laughs> yeah, highway miles aren't too bad on the cars. Yeah. The fucking stop and go shit, city shit. Yeah. Can't talk apparently. Have yeah. another fucking drink, you lush. <laughs> yeah, we're. I'm probably getting close to putting a transmission in that car because once in a while, after I haven't drove it for like a week, week and a half, I'll go out there, go to put it in reverse, and it just sits there for a second, and then then it goes in, and reverse That's, is usually the the gear that goes out first. <laughs> it fucking gives you the kick when it goes into reverse. <laughs> no, it's not a kick. It's just. It's just slowly getting there. And it's automatic, so it's not like it's a clutch or anything. So <laughs> it would be nice if it was a manual, and then I could just look at the clutch, see if it needed it in that area, and replace the clutch. But... Yeah, kind of it's all right. Time. It's done its It's done its job. It's paid off. That's it. Ride that motherfucker into the ground since it's paid off. Yeah, try to keep it up for as minimal amount as you can and tell it can't go no more. Yep, especially since I don't have to drive to work, I just drive down the stairs in my <laughs> shorts or jammies or whatever. Man, that's about me now, too. I mean, well, I haven't driven my car in weeks and weeks and weeks, I've driven the missus' uh, car a few times, but not mine. <laughs> Now, TJ, um, question for you. Have you ever got close to log on time and you just went out there in your underwear and logged on and then waited till like first breakish time and ran and got close on? Oh, I've done that a couple times already. <laughs> just sitting here, I'm going, hmm, a little chilly. Good thing I got a blanket in the drawer over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, during the winter, I'll, I'll always, I always leave a sweatshirt on the back of this chair just that way. In case I fucking run out here late or I woke up late, I can just fucking oh, sweatshirt yep. for good. Uh, when it's summer? Nah. Fucking send back your no fucking oh. shirt on. 
Did I show you this? TJ. Oh, you got your pirate mod? I got the pirate king. Nice. And I got the skeleton King Kong uh, mod to put it on. Nice. 18650, 2700, 2700 compatible. So it's, it's quite nice. I'm still putting it through its paces. I'll be doing a review on those. I got that for Pirate Night in October. Looks nice. I like it. Thought I saw some sort of picture of it at one point. It took long enough. Came from the slow boat from China. And okay. the bad thing is, I ordered them together. And of course, the Pirate King RDA was in stock, but the mod was not. So a week went by, still not shipped. I emailed them. They were like, oh, well, the mod is not in stock, so we will be restocking next week. So I gave them a week, China. emailed them again, and all of a sudden they had a uh, had an email about tracking information. So that was good. China. I know it is. Kenny B, it is. Talk like a pirate day. Yar. Yar. I'm talking like a pirate all day. People oh, telling me to get software installed didn't like it, but hey. If I would have known that earlier in the day, I probably would have gotten fired. <laughs> you guys yeah. are the first. You guys are the first. I was sitting around all day with my pirate head <laughs> on and answering the phone. Yar. Although it is, I only talked to my cat today, so <laughs> talk to her like yar. You want your? Uh, do you want your vittles over there, you? You land loving Katya. Yeah. Wait. And then you're like, wait, you can't walk the plank yet. You <laughs> haven't waited 45 minutes since you ate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's ironic that my son put on his pirate hat and started chasing me around with this fucking Nerf sword. Give your cat a, a lemon. Hey. Give your cat a lemon. It's got scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> Scurvy. That's the thing that gets pirates the most Scur most hate. Is the thought of scurvy. Scurvy. Later, Mr. Hall. We're dropping shit over here. Don't mind me. Don't drop too much. Just put it away so I'm not fucking fiddling with it. That's the problem. <laughs> over here fucking fiddling the shit and dropping things. Why does Fresh's headrest on his seat look fucking cockeyed? Well, it's got to be bent down that way because he's, he's got to oh, line no, up with his go. head. I was going to say, it looked like this from the fucking <laughs> angle that the camera was at. Yeah. That's so when he leans back, it's right there for his head to take a nap right there. Yep. Exactly. Exactly like that. You know the deal. Yeah. If, okay. it was Ad, if it was Adam or Jesse, it would be a little bit higher. Just to tell it in fresh. Nap time! <laughs> Something. Uh, yeah, you have been quite the mute. I'm just listening to everybody. Mm. That's all right. Don't know. Got a message from him earlier, though. Yeah, where is he? Said he was going to be here. Apparently his um, computer decided it was going to go fucking nuts on him. That's all I got. He's like, fix the computer and I'll be back. So, eh, all right. Meter, meter. I hate computers when they don't work right. It's like my everyday job. And then if something happens to mine. Uh, <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, bitch. <laughs> like, Do this all day. My fucking time <laughs> off. <laughs> Or, or my wife comes up to me with her phone and says, it says it's out of room. It's out of room. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what? It's called the help desk. <laughs> oh, we figured turning out, it off and on again. We figured that problem out really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, you're right. It you're is. right. <laughs> we need a bigger SD card. <laughs> so, 
What's wrong with it? It's a ID10T code. That's the problem. Well, the, the only bad thing about like Android phones is that you got Google Photos, and then we got Dropbox on them. So then we catch everything that way. And when you're replicating everything everywhere, you got copies of pictures and videos from everything that you take. Um, Double fucking and up on everything. Yep. <laughs> it's like four times, and then the. Then if you edit them, like crop them, do things with filters so you can post them on Facebook, or <laughs> there's another couple of copies, you know? Oh, what was it? That new note they just came out with has a full terabyte on it. You really can't fuck that up. I know. Oh, but you know the one I'm really looking forward to is the Razer V4. If you haven't seen it, check out a YouTube video about Razer V4. They take a 7-inch screen and you're able to fold it in half like the old razors. You can put it in your pocket nice and small. Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. Take that note and watch that video later. I'm like, as soon as that drops in like December, reminding I'm myself right really now. thinking. <laughs> That's funny because my fucking my stepdad was running a razor up until last year and he finally got a smartphone. He had that motherfucker forever. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, flip phone that you can flip open and touch the entire seven-inch screen because the OLED folds perfect with the curve. Oh, I see it. Yeah, wow. That's that, cool. I can say that's the one thing I miss about flip phones. I never had to worry about pocket dialing anybody because it was fucking closed. Yep. Yep. <laughs> now, whoops! You left your screen on, touches the side of your leg, you're fucking calling or texting somebody. Yeah, or deleted yep. your gallery. <laughs> 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 like shit. Ah, where did they go? <laughs> well, you know, one of these days they're just going to come out with something where they're just going to implant a chip in you and that'll be the end of it. Yeah. Implant the chip and when you lift your fingers like this, it shines onto your wrist and you can just... All right. <laughs> you just go, Hello? <laughs> Call Jesse. <laughs> and no more uh, Bluetooth ear sets that go in like this. It's just a little <laughs> ear, whatever they call it, the inner ear. Um, they go in there and fix. Yeah, Cochlear. You, they fix that and then they put a chip there too. That's Bluetooth. Ear <laughs> well, file. they can just they can just if you if you have something that touches the the bones here. Yeah. You don't anything else? Hmm. Yep. Because you'll be able to hear and they'll be able to hear you. They're like, for an additional five grand, we can import stereo. Mm. <laughs> Perfect gizzard. Jesus Christ. Mine's Everybody, not, if you're curious, that is gizzard stews. Mine's not quite as big and stupid, but I do have an old phone. We were just talking about this one a couple days ago. The old Nokia? It's an audio Vox. Uh, I think I used Prime Co. back in the day. This is probably from 2000, I want to say. Yeah. Remember those old Nokia's you could drop from like 10 stores. Are we back? We're back. Back again. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Stop. JD's bad. Hey, how's Hello, that? Man. Is that better? Sure. It says it was back, so it was only for a quick <laughs> second. Church is getting the, the wheels of death. Yeah, it should, come it should come back right now. Yeah, there was some... Not, I missed those old phones. My fucking old man, he had this big fucking yellow brick of a fucking phone. When they did that, when the big thing with the phones was the two-way radios. Oh, yeah, of course. This big fucker. Chirp, he, chirp. The, yeah, the Sprint, the sprint chirp. phones, they were awesome. He dropped that motherfucker three stories. I watched it happen. It bounced, what the went fuck? down, picked it up. Little ding in the side, still fucking worked. I'm like, God damn. Now all these things, you drop it from six inches and you fuckers toast. The screen's all gone. Just fucking spiders. <laughs> yeah, I used to work for a construction and cartridge company as like a, like a job site foreman. I was basically directing dump trucks, you know, at landfills or if somebody needed land, we were the guys who facilitated, you know, the, uh, the fill basically. <clears throat> and uh, 
Oh my god. Excuse me. Oh my god. Oof. Wow. Whatever whatever it was made him disappear. Oh shit. Hopefully he's okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Where'd he go? Man down, man down. That was crazy. Did he swallow a bug? I don't know. Did he Usually, swallow? Usually, oh a shit, bug? oh shit, it's not a good sign. No. You are potato right now. But maybe it could be mashed potato. Oh uh, wait, the show's potato. It's not mashed it, potato. You are potato. potato. Just wait a minute. I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> A loaded mashed potato from Outback Steakhouse. I can try stopping it and starting it again. Want to try that? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, wait a minute, Chevy Man says no, it's not. I think he was just calling you a potato. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, we thought you died, Adam. Yeah, we thought you swallowed a bug. <laughs> yeah, it's not. A... <laughs> wow. And it just went down to 144p. Uh, it be... That's all right. It'll fix itself later. It should be running at full speed now. If everybody refreshes, it'll probably go back up to higher. Yeah. So 144p ain't bad on a phone, though. It's pretty clear on the phone. Yeah, I just watched that <laughs> Razor preview video. I want a Razor. No doubt. I'm like, I wouldn't have ever thought about getting a phone, another flip phone, but that's a flip phone that I would like. That's, that, that's badass. Uh, is it still all touchscreen then? Yeah. yeah. It, it's the, all OLED. Does it? Does and it's it, got on the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Giz. Does it fold far enough yeah. so that it doesn't have like a crease in it? It just yeah. folds like a billfold? Yep, just like the old razors, where they filled in wow. half. Cool. That's crazy. Yeah, that's. A, so it's still <laughs> gonna be. Damn, I'm, I'm sitting here doing the math in my head. I'm like, it's a seven inch screen. Yeah. But it's only four inches once it's closed. Yeah, and it's got a whole little strip, you know, like the uh, Samsung Edge has, where yeah. you get the little, um, little bar that you can see your notifications and look on them so it still has that when it's folded but you know be able to fold that up in your pocket and not worry about the screen getting scratched that'd be awesome fuck yeah yeah that uh, now i want a razor v4 fuck. take notes flip clones are coming back heck yeah well that goes back to the oled um, those OLED screens, they're totally well, you can roll them up. Yeah. Like when they came over, they first had that technology, they were doing them for the military where they'd do a tough box um, thing and you have a hole in the back of the laptop that you just pulled out the screen, rolled it up and put it on top and plugged it in and you went to jail. My bad. It was all monochrome <laughs> at that time, but... <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Sorry about that. We thought you died. Well, no, it looked like you were like choking or something. I was in the middle of telling a story and then my computer started freaking out and I was trying to say like, oh shit, my computer's freaking out. And then like the last drink of soda that I had like started like, <laughs> like giving me like acid. I have acid reflux like a motherfucker. So and I was like, well, I better get out of here and fix this really quick before I start like <laughs> choking on stream. <laughs> Kind of sounded like it, and the way you fucking dropped out, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, my bad. Somebody better call an ambulance <laughs> for him, fuck. I'll be right back, though. Sweet. Oh, I... well, what's the price on What's the price on that going to be? It's going to be, like, around 500 is what I've heard. That's pretty cheap. Really? That's it? So, yeah, like, someone said, like, four Four or five hundred bucks or something. Yeah, like half I mean, the price. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. If they I'll bring it out, out if, put, my, put my own sim, put my sim card in it. If they bring that out at that price point, they're going to kill the market. That'll be awesome. Yeah, they will. 
It would be great. Oh, well, yeah, because it'll force everybody else to bring that shit down. I just remember all the cases that those razors would go into. It wasn't like some big old freaking honking thing on your belt mm -hmm. that you had to put a bungee cord on there in case you leaned over the wrong way and hit your seven inch screen off of the case or whatever. I mean, you're still going to have like a four inch phone, but you're yeah. going to be able to pop that fucker open to. But That's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> your four inch phone is the difference between carrying something of this size in your pocket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. No, fuck. That comes out in December. I'm due for an. I'm due for an upgrade in uh, February. Yeah, we just paid off our phones through the Verizon, so I'm like, we can wait. We can wait. <laughs> yeah, the missus might be interested in that. She needs a new phone, but she refuses to get one because it'll add to our bill. Uh, I don't know, you I'm... hate that? Yeah. Whatever happened to the fucking you go in, you drop two hundred dollars, call it a day. That's a well, that was the best. They. They can't do those free phone promotions anymore. They have to charge something for the phone. And since everybody has to charge something for the phone, they might as well work it into your payments for two years. So you don't have to worry about chucking down money when you get a new phone. They just add it to your bill. And everybody ad adapted that two-year payment structure. Yeah, I, to be honest, I fucking hate that. I, I miss the whole just... Here, it's 200 bucks for your phone. Call it a day. Depending on, of course, which phone you were getting. Sometimes they were cheaper, but... Yeah. Is that going to be exclusive? Is that going to be exclusive to somebody? Um, it's looking like Verizon. I'll, start, I'll, just, just... I'll, just buy, I'll just buy it outright from, like, Amazon then. Yeah. Cause I need well, I'm sure there'll be unlocked versions. Yeah. That'll be sure. great. That'll be really good too. Like if you drop it because it's protected, it's full. Yep. It's folded in half like a taco, and it's got a shell. Yeah, I don't mind if I get like with this phone. I wouldn't mind if I get scratches on the back of it. Exactly. The screen, the break. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they should call it the taco. That'd be awesome. And the Samsung, uh, Motorola taco. Hell yeah. So you can have a pink version for uh, booby awareness, and you can buy the pink taco. Nice. <laughs> I would totally, I would totally walk around sporting the pink taco. <laughs> kind of phone is that fresh? Well, it's the pink taco. <laughs> Call me if you want me of to course. fuck up your marketing. <laughs> well, every time you open it, you can tell them you're spreading the pink taco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excuse me while I spread the pink taco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody loves tacos. Oh, yeah. Tacos. Is John a big burrito fan? Ooh. The taco phone. That's I like big. tacos, but sometimes a big burrito just hits the spot a little bit better than a taco. Jimmy Changa. You could have the Taco Bell oh. ringtone. Speaking of burritos, there's this fucking place down the road here, like maybe a quarter mile from my house this fucking burrito that's like fucking probably three or four pounds oh yeah stuffed with carnitas mm -hmm. bacon fucking and some, i forget what other fucking meat they have in there and then rice and everything else fucking massive then they cover it in fucking white queso it's fucking great wow. and like one of those and you don't move for like four hours <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great thing. That was a great thing when I was in Monterey, when I was stationed in Monterey for six months. Like there was a, you could go to this little burrito shop that was right off, that was right off the post and pay, you paid like eight bucks for this burrito, which it seemed like a lot at the time, but the fucking thing was like this. <laughs> like it was ridiculous and you could eat on it for like three days. It was, it was amazing. It was the best value. It was the best food value in Monterey. Like that was cheaper than going and buying groceries. It was just go out like once every three days and spend eight bucks. There was a place in Southern California when I lived in Chino Hills that was like that. Yeah. Had this big old surf and turf burrito with fucking steak and shrimp. Dude, it took me fucking three or four days to eat the thing. It was so big. And it cost me 12 bucks, but 
when it feeds you for fucking that many days, you don't need to fucking exactly worry about twelve yeah. bucks, man. No, like the only better value is Tostino's pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety-nine cent, microwavable, perfect. Yeah. It's the best, not supposed best to thing about it. not supposed to microwave them, but you totally fucking microwave those things. <laughs> And the best thing about that is if you take it out of the box, take the, the plastic out of it, put it on top of the box and put it in the microwave. Yeah, it's a plate. A plate too. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got to wash the dishes in, tonight. Now they come in plastic and there's no fucking box. <laughs> you know, and they're square so they don't yeah. put on a plate well. And oh, you Might as well just get fucking pizza rolls at this point. Yeah, yeah. Or pork rinds. Pork <laughs> rinds are always good. Chicharrones. You get pork rinds and then go to Walmart and get that uh, Gordo's white cheese. It takes like four minutes to melt, but then it's just nothing but liquid. Mm. Throw that over some pork rinds. You got Keto Delight right there. Can't go wrong there. I'm sorry, that is one thing I do miss about Louisiana, though. Fresh fucking crackling from the gas yeah. station. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck was that? It was at the end of Leesville, that one little gas station where uh, I think 171 came together. Yeah, it was just out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, that yeah. fucking gas station. Best fucking crackling I had while I was down there. Fucking, I remember. I remember Cheek was the one who Cheek was the one who found it because that dude was on a mission. <laughs> he's like, dude. He's like, yeah, come with me. We're gonna go get crackling. Walks into the gas station, comes out with this just. This brown paper bag, brown paper bag, just leaking grease. It's like, oh yeah, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> you guys are oh, making me hungry. Try that. Like, oh no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be too good. It was that in the? I love this. The little Starlight Cafe that was down there, the little Korean joint. Yeah. My lady walked in there, and she spoke a lot of Korean, a lot of stuff I didn't understand. But I was like, yep, just feed me, whatever. It took me forever to find a good Korean restaurant there, and they were only open like three days a week. It's like, you sons of bitches. She did make some damn good duck goop, though. Mm. But you could only get that around New Year, so, which was kind of a bummer. Yeah. Going there. Bulgogi. Bulgogi! All right. <laughs> so TJ, uh... we'll... TJ, I'll have to keep you updated. Uh, since my son is playing for the Packers, they lost, and then your Packers lost. So we'll have to see if that. Keeps they didn't up. actually lose; they tied. Well, yeah. Well, thought... then again, it is flag football. Everybody ties. Everybody wins. They don't really kind of keep score. Yeah, I guess fucking participation trophies. <laughs> Dude, I, that was the one thing uh, I can say me and the missus disagree on so heavily. Because, like, if my son gets into any sport and they hand him a participation trophy, I'm throwing that motherfucker in the garbage. You don't get trophies for participating. You get trophies for winning. That's how that works. Oh, he doesn't get to use that cup to drink, like, his chocolate milk out of every morning? No. I'm going to piss in the cup, and I'm going to throw it at whoever fucking hands it to him. <laughs> I'm not one for participation trophies. <laughs> I just don't agree with it. You want to give him a certificate of participation? Good job you participated. Sure. <laughs> don't give him a fucking trophy, though. Yeah. I kind of felt bad for my son because he went to a sleepover for one of his buddy's uh, birthday parties. So he shows up, knows that he did not get enough sleep to play football. And is close to 90 degree heat. Saturday. It was just brutal. He was dragging ass like crazy. Yeah. Good thing the football field was only uh, a block and a half away from our house, so we were able to bring over plenty of water for him to chug, so he kept hydrated, but still dragging. Lack of sleep is no good. No, nope. learning the hard way right there. Kind of hilarious that you, your kid has to wear a Packers uniform. <laughs> it is, it is <laughs> funny. But it's a really high quality jersey. I it's know, I've seen it. Green on the one side, you 
flip it over and it's white on the other side. So if they're home or away, whatever they want to call it, um, it's got NFL play on the back of it. I'm like, I'm glad I ordered him a size bigger than what he is because he'll be able to wear it all year. But then again, I got to look at a Packers jersey. He's just Snickers every time he puts it on. <laughs> Just mail the cheese every time. Oh you man, life is gonna life is gonna find himself just standing over the kid's bed with the cheese head ready to smother him. <laughs> Do the, I got a, I have a question. Do the other teams they play have other NFL teams? Yeah, Jersey? yeah. He played the Titans. Oh. So I, I kept looking. And I'm like, I know the Bears are playing at the same time. Which field are they on today? Like, You're not gonna watch me. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch you. <laughs> My question is, when you go in root for him, do you wear the cheese head? When I go to root for him? No. You should wear the cheese head. You should. You should. I'm, That's I'm good wearing, I wear. I wore my Lipa hat and sunglasses and <laughs> just. Like, so you're hoping people wouldn't recognize you with the sunglasses on? Because you're No, I just, just wanted to hide. Nobody knows about Lipa, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is fucking yeah. funny. The second it's, you told me that, I died. <laughs> it's it's great. I'm like, show up to his, the day where they say what team he's on. And, yep, Packers. Oh, that's awesome. Motherfuckers. <laughs> does he does he have a schedule where it tells him what team they're playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they play the Bears at all? I can't wait for that day. I'm going to go across the field. <laughs> go Bears. out here. Go Bears. Yeah. Wearing your Bears jersey. Dad! What? Motherfucker. Sorry, it's laundry day. <laughs> it's not Sunday. If it was Sunday, I wouldn't be wearing this shirt at all. <laughs> this is the only bad thing about running the blue screen now. I didn't think about the Bears jerseys that I have. Oh, yeah. The Bears t shirt, because I just disappear and I'm a floating head. <laughs> It's like my uh, my little thing to go over my my uh, chair has slipped down, but it's kind of cool. Like I can go like this. Oh, it's like you have Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Oh, I've got a Harry Potter wand. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny B so, has a question for you. What, what's that? What, so what, what team do most people go for in Iowa? Uh, well, we have three uh, college teams. Well, yeah. And then we also have three uh, teams around us. What do we got? We got the Kansas City Chiefs. We got St. Louis, whatever's. And uh, we have the Minnesota Vikings. So you could go for any of those. Or you could go over to the Chicago Bears, which is next to us in Illinois. Right. So, so I, I was always been a Bulls. Bears fan ever since I was in grade school, so that's why I've I think everybody was a fan. Bulls fan when they were in grade school at our age. He had fucking Jordan to watch. I was a I was a Pistons fan. Still am. Nice. You can you couldn't find a Bulls starter jacket whatsoever. Oh <laughs> the only you. ones you could ever find was like uh I had a badass beat. the Dolphins. Jacket. <laughs> or you know, some of these off teams is the only ones you could find in stores around here, and never any bulls jackets. Actually, I saw something. Starter jackets are trying to make a comeback. I saw. Really? Go on. I tell you, gonna, we need. I would buy one. We need starter jackets and zubas. Oh, zubas! <laughs> I would fucking sit down here and work in zubas. <laughs> Big old fucking parachute pants, all fucking crazy colored. <laughs> I had Chicago Bears Zubas. I absolutely did. Bring back yeah. Zubas. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Zubas were great. Oh, man. Yeah. wonder if I could get away with wearing 49ers Zubas and to work. As long as they kind of match. Do you have to wear like a scrub top or are you regular dressed out? Regular, regular semi, semi. So if, as long as I had a collared shirt on, so like I think a polo and some zub, polo shirt and some zubas. Fuck yeah! <laughs> it's like wearing pajamas to work. Yeah. <laughs> oh oh. 
Oh, you, that's like, you know, they let us in when I did work in the office during football season. You wear whatever the hell you want as long as it's football related during on Fridays. So football yeah. Fridays. Nice. Unless, of course, the Packers played on a Thursday or Monday, then it was just that day of the week. Yeah. You'd well, see people like... running around and all kinds of shit. Hmm. Three Consider... weeks after, three, excuse me, three weeks after I started working at home, they went to, you could wear jeans and t-shirt to work unless we were having uh, people from The Hague come over to visit. And then they warned us like a couple days ahead and you had to wear business casual, but so now they get to wear jeans and t-shirt as long as it didn't have anything graphic on it. Can he be? I'll wear. I'll wear whatever the fuck I please. You don't tell me how. You don't tell me how to live my life, sir. <laughs> well, in the middle of the summer down here, I'm working in just shorts and no shirt. So, you know. Oh yeah. There's an image. There's an image for you. <laughs> This is titties. <laughs> yep. No titties. Just really tiny nipples. Everybody learned that lately. So. <laughs> this is. Why do we even have nipples if you're a guy? Why? <laughs> <laughs> do we want to go down that road? <laughs> they were they were making fun of me in the shack for it. So, I uh, <laughs> broke out this. Uh, this 810 to 510 adapter <laughs> so I could highlight one of them. They're like, oh, you do have them. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be thankful about that, though. When I, even when I got up to like 425 pounds, I did not get moves. So <laughs> I was really happy about that. <laughs> nice. Oh. All right. Well, fuck, it is that time of night, isn't it? Holy shit. I don't know. Is it that I'm, early? Ready. I'm ready for bed. I've been ready for bed. I don't want to fucking take her around the room, let everybody say their piece. Um, I should probably let the quietest motherfucker in the room go first. <clears throat> How's Warcraft going, Jesse? What's going on, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I talked a little bit more than you tonight. Probably. So I'm leaving it to you. Yeah. Thanks for having me on, TJ. I just had a brain fart. I don't even know what to say. We get right. say wow, he really didn't want to talk tonight. All right. <laughs> it's gone. Jess, it's gone. Jess, Everybody you... go check out my Instagram, my YouTube, and my website. We could run your commercial. Gotta... Yeah, run yeah your I got commercial. a sale going on here. There you go. Magnificent. Fucking genius. And stuff her up your butt. <laughs> and there is the meter vapes. Fucking Windows 10. Fuck Windows 10, he says. That's why I stayed yeah. at 7. Thank you, Giz. You're welcome. Oh. Huh. Now that you've got your uh, pimping out of the way via video, you don't have to see anything else. You can be quiet again. <laughs> Just like he likes it. Well, um, how about um, the guy who almost died? <laughs> Adam, he almost died there. What happened? He almost died. Yeah. The second time in my life, too. It sucks. Um, yeah. Thanks for uh, dealing with my near-death situation and my near-computer crash. I kept it together. So... We have that going for us. Yeah, thanks for having me, TJ. Check out the bands as usual. Check out everybody on the panel. They all produce awesome shit, whether it be online content or stands. Actually, Jesse's now doing both, so which is awesome. His live shows you should check out and buy his stands. Check out Leafa. His videos are always hilarious. His blooper videos were fucking cracking me the hell up. <laughs> check giz for overall spork leafy madness check fresh for diy insanity and check us every wednesday and thank you for having me and dealing with me good job adam <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Huh. 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 who do we go in here next 
I'm kind of thrown off here. Meter's not here, so I'm I not know. sure what order to go in. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Oh, Missy, how about uh, Lisa? How about you, old buddy? Hey, uh, yeah. Uh, things are rolling good again. Kids are back in school, so I'm doing my live shows on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, tomorrow we will be, one of the topics, we'll be mixing up some Addy Jogurt. Yeah. Getting close to the end for my Vapor Face Off. And uh, Vapor Face Off will be at the end of tomorrow's show as well. Uh, we'll kick that show off at 3.30 Central Standard Time. Um, <clears throat> also just wanted to pimp out a couple of things. Um, just going to put in the chat my uh, Patreon. And I also uh, did start a uh, Teespring shop. If you're looking for uh, T-shirts, hoodies, things like that um that's going the money being made on that is going back in the channel for devices and things to review and 10 percent of that is going to kasa off of those profits so nice. I, don't have to worry about, yeah, I don't have to worry about touching anything if you want to go out there and order it they take care of all this shit so uh but 100 percent of that money is going back to the channel um this week uh you can look for a review on the ts the defiant ts and i think i'm gonna this is gonna be totally see-through i'm gonna do uh, a year later oh it works with the purple screen that works awesome the uh make mv2 huh. does it still stand up video because i figure there's some stuff that i haven't got reviews on that i want to do some does it still stand the hype so outside of that um yeah see you tomorrow for vape break nice I can answer the I can answer that question. Yes. Yes, it still stands up. <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah, it does. Spoiler, spoiler alert. It's still one of the best mods on the market. But why? Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> tune tune in for spoilers. <laughs> oh, thank you. Fresh. Why don't you have that at since um you know the spoilers? All right, everybody go buy an Asmodus Minikin V2. Uh still one of the best mods on the market. <laughs> by a long shot uh go over to adori liquid get yourself some uh of all the lovely flavors but especially addy's yogurt still the only one shot i've ever put out uh 100 of proceeds go to notblowingsmoke.org or whatever charity we feel like this month uh but you can check out all the lovely mixes over on adori liquid um i i need to do a review on the btfc here asap i'll probably shoot that tomorrow uh, assuming that I can stay awake. So I'll keep your eyes peeled for a review on the BTFC, and then after that it'll be the uh, the Recurve, Recurve Squonk. Um, Recurve Squonks, it's a really nice mod. It's a really nice mod, but it's no Asmodus Minikin V2, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, everybody should go check out Omegadon, omegadoneliquid.com. Go support Giancarlo and Ducky. They're still two of the best people on the planet. And they make some of the best mixes going. They're they're different from everything else you're gonna try. That's the that's the beauty of Omegadon. It's independent, handmade, and, and uh, filled. All those all the little skull bottles are filled with love. Don't let John Carlo fool you. He's a he's a love he's a love teddy bear, or Pooh Bear as we like to call him. Uh, <laughs> Kenny B coils. Go. Kenny needs gas. He always needs gas and tacos. So go over and get to get you some Kenny B coils. Uh, I think, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm rocking a set of Kenny B coils in the BTFC right now. So I, I like Kenny's coils. They're fun. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, who else am I forgetting? I'm looking around. I'm looking around. Uh, tune in Friday. We're going to be doing a, a, a full. You guys have only heard a quarter of the story. Of what happened in Scotland and Iceland. So we'll be doing the we'll be doing the full recap on Friday uh, for my big trip. Be showing off pictures you haven't seen before. So be fun. Uh, Saturday, uh, everybody's doing sticky toffee pudding, motherfuckers. Get on it. I need sticky toffee pudding recipe done right. Done right, everybody. Uh, that's all I got. That's all I got, though. Um, I guess I need to throw it over to uh, the stew. The stew at the uh, at the uh, at the uh, garbage disposal desk. <laughs> To me? Yeah. I thought, I thought it went to the pissy pants desk. 
Uh, he's uh, he's going to go last tonight since we don't have a meter, so I'm throwing right. it over to Gizzard Stewart. The garbage disposal desk. Okay. Here's my shout out. Get over to Vaping Swag and pick up a Vaping Saves Lives No Butts About It shirt. Or you could check out the other t-shirt that he's got over there. The I quit fl smoking using flavored vapor and showing a picture of Beauty and the Vape, our, our famous vape model. It's a great shirt. Good conversation starter. You can put, uh, It's customizable. You can put in how many years you smoked and what flavor you used to quit smoking with. And I also wanted to shut out Duck Pond E-Liquids. And Hazy Custard by Dora E-Liquid. Got to get that one in there. Back to you at the Pissy Pants desk. There we go, Pissy Pants desk time. Oh, I'm at the Pissy Pants desk tonight. All right. All right. Well, it's better than the Poopy Pants desk. I'll take it. <laughs> That's and, only for a complete shit show. Uh, uh, uh. And it wasn't a complete shit show tonight until um, Adam almost died live on air. <laughs> huh. You know, for starters, first and foremost, thanks everybody for coming out. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Everybody on the panel, thank you all for showing up and hanging out with us. Uh, meter, get your shit fixed. So I feel weird going last now on my own show, which is kind of awkward. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. We'll suck it up. Uh, so, uh, first and foremost, you guys know the drill. Make sure you're educating, advocating, not for yourselves or anyone around us. For those people that come behind us that have made the switch from the stinkies. We're in a hell of a fight, and it doesn't look like it's going anytime fucking soon. Do your part. Make sure this is still around for them so they have this chance to switch over to a life saving device to mitigate their risk down to 5% or less. Okay. You guys knocked everything just about out of the park for me. You guys know the drill. Go check out Adori Liquid. Fill your carts with little purple hearts. You will not be disappointed. We all love Dawn very much. And also, from the pink pussy list as well, you did mention vaping swag. You can get one of these got sport shirts over there. Or the vaping saves my life shirt. There's a whole mess of them. Just go check them out there. I have mentioned the wonderful lines that are over there to include um, Meter Made Melling and the Gizzard Brew. Um, also, don't forget the one that I did notice everybody missed on the pink pussy list. It is this. I'm kind of ashamed to say that Gizzards 2 forgot this. Fucking this one. This one reserve. I Man, saved it. I, I didn't forget it. I saved it for you. Bullshit. <laughs> you love this one. Don't lie to me. I've been vaping it all night. <laughs> you guys know the drill now. Uh, go support those of us who support the community. And everyone else. And also, that includes um, Final and Vapor as well. It's on the list as well, still, right? And who else is on the list that I'm just <clears> fucking <throat> losing my mind to? There's a whole mess of them. Just go to the pinkpussylist.com. Yeah, yeah, Lucid RDA is out there. Um, his code actually gets you free shipping too. Cafe Intervape. Um, yeah, there's there's tons of them out there. If I miss anything, just let me know. Oh, and one person I'm going to shout out. I'm here if it'll show up. It's not going to do it, is it? You're a dick. With your... Oh, there it there is. It goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and them clean AF coils. Check out your boy Freddy over there. Yeah. So fresh, so clean. Thanks, that. Thank you, B, and all the other wonderful builders that are out there. Oh. You know, you can, if you're looking for even good toys uh, from somebody you haven't seen in a while, go check out Court Jans. He's got some phenomenal building skills as well. There's a whole bunch of them out there, but make sure you're keeping it with people in the community who are taking care of each other and doing the right things for advocacy and for the right reasons. So, and then, I don't have a whole lot other to say than, other than know you're in a fight, continue to fight, 
as um, what does the meter say? Um, taking Hesh's words out of his mouth, band together or be banned together. As that's what will happen if we don't fight. Well, I don't have a damn thing else to say. I love you all, and I will see you all next week. Because it's still you're here. Yeah. Oh, buddy. As you go through the rest of your week, try and be nice to someone if possible. And get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Bye. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Bye. 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 Get off your butts and vape.